Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today you join me at Topaz for the next update with my project car, the red edition Ford Focus RS. Now today we're going to be fitting some more carbon fibre parts as well as doing some Topaz skin. Now this is a pretty big project, one of the 300 UK red edition Mark III RSs. We did the full interior at Proto Trim, the engine internals have been upgraded by Mountune to around 500 horsepower and also on the exterior it features the Ventus Veloce carbon fiber aero package consisting of all of the parts that you can see around the outside of it now today we're going to be replacing the front fenders these are going to be swapped to some carbon fiber parts supplied by custom carbon from anderson composites they are wider arches but we're also going to be doing some topaz skin work to add some more red to the car i know a lot of you have been commenting about this about the bonnet looking a little bit overkill imagine with the full carbon exposed fenders as well we'll see the parts inside we had a quick look at them just before the end of last year and then I'll show you a bit about the design we're going to do, take you through the Topaz skin process, just like we did on the G63. Remember, that is actually a black car underneath. We did the cerulean blue and the navy arches, show you how that's going to work, and then later on we will see the finished product. The weather today is definitely at the grim end of the spectrum. It is cold and windy, and that is the noise of an 812 Superfast just heading up the road. We've got some rather bright cars behind. The race red of the Focus RS, the G63, and then we've got a Kingfisher Blue Audi R8. That's a nine-year-old car that over on the Topaz channel, they've just done a full video about bringing the paintwork back to life. There is also going to be one other modification we will make to the Red RS as soon as we get it inside, but to give you a quick rundown of some of the other changes that we've made. So of course it has the Ventus Veloce, exterior kit it has the mountain engine upgrades the proto tim interior but we've also got the bbs cir wheels wearing michelin sport cup 2 tires we've got the gloss black with red logo brake calipers on the inside obviously the proto trim alcantara complete refit to the seats to the door cards to just about everything but we've got the ss tuning steering wheel and gear shifter so a complete upgraded project now there is one thing that stands out an awful lot about this car that has not been done that we're going to be approaching today as well which is is the door mirrors these are currently gloss black they need to be going carbon fiber again from custom carbon you'll see those in a moment as well but let's get this inside so we can get started and talk about how exactly we're going to do the design with topaz skin and also show you those new fenders too it sounds good the x-force varex exhaust system that we have on this so now starts a bit of swapping around to get that into the wash bay for the preparation work and into the wash bay we're going to be giving it a rinse down to so start with the wheels, then the arches, and then doing some of the iron X to decontaminate the bonnet. Of course, this is going to be getting the topaz skin. The new parts, which are currently upstairs, and we're going to see them very shortly, um, will be prepped up there to be ready for the car as well. This is going to be, oh, the piece that just went by, this is going to be its first proper clean. The first bit of attention is, of course, the wheels, which get rinsed down. And, um, yeah, you can quickly see how much dirt is coming off those. They are filthy at the moment. and the arches, and then I think it's time to uh, maybe give it a bit of snow foam as well. The car spins forwards 180 degrees so that the wheels can be washed the other way up as well. Well, i tell you what was really cool was seeing what the headlights did when it was started up. I'm going to try and catch that the next time. This then is the Iron X, which of course gives us that purple blood if there's any fallout on the surface. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see too much of it with the dark, obviously, of the carbon fibre, but if we do, it should look kind of cool. And obviously this is done to prepare the surface ahead of the topaz skin to make sure that it sticks completely properly later on. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens. On it getting the rinse down, you couldn't quite see, it's a little bit too dark. It is snow foam time, always looking like the car is completely covered by snow, always very fun. And of course, loosens up anything that's left in the surface of it. Well, looking kind of cool in the process. <laughs> This is genuinely going to be the best wash that this car has ever had. And then another rinse down from the top to the bottom so that all of the dirty water goes away rather than going back over the clean surfaces. I almost forgot that the car needed an actual shampoo, the traditional car wash, uh, going all around many hands to make light work at the moment to get this done. 
before it can go through. It is now the simultaneous drying, but also claying, just going over the surface to remove anything that is left here. But hopefully all is pretty much prepared and ready. And then, well, we can see a little bit of what these headlights do as we get the car in, where it can go up on the ramps to go upstairs towards the booth where the Topaz skin is carried out. We can see the parts and also upstairs, we can catch up and see Schmark 150's M2 competition and what is being done with that too. Check the headlights the way they move around, balance and kind of self-level themselves. It's kind of cool to watch. So this is now going to come upstairs on the ramp, looking very, very clean, tidy and shiny. Crazy nice. So this lift that they made, of course, to house a Rolls-Royce Phantom if required. Um, I need to hop around to get myself safely up the stairs so that we don't get uh, trapped by it. So around I go, up it comes. Let's head up towards the top, where we can see this in more detail in just a second. Always bizarre to see it from right above. But up here, we have the M2 competition and the paint booth, where it's going to be heading in a second. Very cool. The car is now in place and ready for the bonnet to be removed, as well as showing you the new parts, but you might also spot that stunning F12 TDF. We took a look at this heavily tailor-made car when I was in with my AMG GTR Pro getting PPF, but that is awesome. These are the parts from Custom Carbon, the new Anderson Composites side fenders made, as you can see, entirely from exposed carbon. They are extra wide. They have these openings which will sit behind the front wheel wells, of course, allowing the swelling air to come out. They weigh very, very little compared to the standard parts. I can tell you that already. Incredibly light pieces packaged up at the moment, but we also need to pop open the bonnet we'll do that just coming around being careful of this for a second pull a lever just down there because obviously this is going to need to be removed which means we will need to take off the water jet nozzles the catch is just on this side with this car there we go inside we're greeted by a lot more lovely carbon fiber and we'll grab that and just mount it so that we can hold this open for the moment we need to take out some brackets take out the water jet nozzles and then we'll be able to take this off to get it worked on and talk about how we're gonna mask it up, how it's gonna be painted, and likewise, how this is gonna work, and what we're gonna leave exposed, and what we're gonna be painting. And just like that, the bonnet was removed. It's only a few parts that hold it on. Obviously quite a large piece, but significantly lighter, I can tell you, than the standard bonnet that actually came off the car. Much, much lighter. And then we get a good view of all of the carbon parts we've got on the inside. It's held on just with these hinges, and obviously the wiring uh, for the washer jets taken off. At the front of this car, all carbon everywhere, and now we're going to come up with the design, which is what we need to talk about. So for the side fenders, it's pretty obvious how I'm going to do this. Obviously, if you took the carbon itself and held it over there, it would look very peculiar. This whole panel that runs all the way around, up to the door, down to the side skirt, it would look strange. So what we're going to do with these is leave these cutouts exposed. Obviously, just around the louvres, openings to the back of the, uh, the A-pillar. So on the car, that will be roughly here that section will be exposed carbon. That will look really cool on the side of it. The bonnet, this is where we might have a few last minute discussions. We're obviously gonna leave the, the NACA duct that we have here open. So this will be um, exposed carbon for that part. These, which look super aggressive, will of course be left open as well, up to maybe there. So these will all be exposed carbon as well on both sides. Obviously you've only got the duct where the airbox is inside. I think though, we're gonna do the entirety of the rest of this red. Now I had considered doing light down here to continue effectively the A-pillars, but because of the way you've got this sharp swoop, it would look really strange. It wouldn't be a natural straight line. So we're probably going to go completely red and just leave those bits, which will look super cool. Anyway, let's get it masked up and make that final decision. Just quickly, while we're here on this TDF, light metallic blue, navy blue carbon, the painted stripes. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. And we are joined by Nabil. Hello. How you doing? Good, thanks. How are you all right? I'm very good. I'm very good. It's here. It's here. This is something quite different to have in your workshop. It's really different. Really, really different. But to be honest, it's really, really cool. I love the carbon. It looks absolutely amazing. It is nice, isn't it? And I know, because obviously we've talked about this a lot, but we should probably explain a little bit about why we are doing this with Topaskin. Yeah. The beauties definitely. of Topaskin. A hundred percent. And I mean, this is a prime example of it, to be honest with you. You've got a really cool carbon piece. It's obviously an expensive piece. So you're going to put it onto the car. But the design that you're going to put on, you might not be 100% sure of, or you might change your mind. Or also, if you decide to sell the car later on and basically sell the part, 
someone's not going to want it in red. They might have a blue car or a yellow yeah. car. You never know. So that's the beautiful thing about topaz skin. You put it on, you do it so that it looks like it's painted, and then you can peel it off afterwards. This, yeah, just just to kind of explain a little bit more. It's basically going to have a clear layer on it, which yep. is the peelable layer. That's then the it will layer, be yeah. masked on top of that, and then it will be painted race red using the spectrometer that mm. we've used before to match the exact colour. Yep. And then there's a lacquer over the top, right? Exactly. So it'll be completely smooth, the edge completely of it. Completely smooth. You won't be able to tell the difference. It's going to look like and feel like a painted panel. So you're not going to be able to this tell the difference. This is going to be difference. really cool. But you won't see a join of two pieces. You'll be able to know that the whole thing is carbon fibre. we just got to do a bit of masking to work out exactly what we want to do. Yeah. And then get the guys in the booth. And, get it in um, the booth. That's the most crucial part, getting the design right. And then if it's not right, you can peel it off. Perfect. Well, hopefully we'll catch up later on then. And all is done. Cool. Let us head inside the spray booth very quickly where the parts have been prepared. They're mounted up on brackets. They need to be cleaned, fully washed down and ready for the first layer, which will of course be the peelable clear layer, so we won't be able to see it. Then after that, it will be masked up so that the red can be painted, the race red matched to the exact color of the car, and then of course the lacquer on the top. So these are all ready for the work to start, and that means I need to escape back on out. It's spray time, the work has started then, the first layer going on. Of course, there are multiple layers of the clear base, but this will be done on each of the three parts, and uh, yeah, mission underway. We're back downstairs now with the car, and what we need to do is get the color reading for this shade. Now, this is called Race Red from Ford, and as you can see, using a spectrometer, having wiped down the surface, this will literally take some measurements, doing it on both sides of the car to get, well, the exact shade, just in case there are any differences. You do it in a few different spots uh, around the car, and then ultimately, we'll get the exact color code, go and compare it with what the machine says would be correct for Ford's Race Red. Hopefully, they match up completely, but quite likely it's going to be a small difference out. But when that is done, it will then be able to match perfectly on the new parts to not need to blend anything. So obviously, we're not going to repaint the bumper, and these parts are going to be stored once they've been taken off the car. Third and final measurement, just up on the A-pillar. All done. But that actually sends it straight up to the machine upstairs to go and be red. The computer is in here. But this is where we plugged in the machine, which now sinks through. Come in and check this out, though. Inside here, we've got the Topaz Skin uh, tub. So we've also got all the paints on a machine. And this system tells you exactly what to dispense and make sure you get the right colors. But what we've got in here, if we go to measurements, we've got our recent measurement. We can go to manufacturer and type in Ford. Oh, not yet. Yeah, there we go. Ford, select that. Then we hit search. And in a second, it will analyze, go through the entire database. You can see it gives us our sample. If you change the angle, check this out. Yeah, there we go, Ford Race Red. Magic, just like that. You've got a couple of different options that it shows you and presents you, but all different variations of Ford Race Red, Ford Race Red, Ford Race Red, obviously. All the Race Red on different colors. And you can see the accuracy of them all here too. And ultimately, when you select it, it will then go ahead, tell you what to, how much you need of every different thing, and then go out and spray the exact same color. Fast forward a few hours and plenty of work has been done. You can see the fenders, the side panels that we have here, which are now giving a satin appearance. Of course, they have not been lacquered. These now have the clear topaz skin areas applied. What needs to be done now, though, is the masking, which you can see being done just here, where each of the sections that are going to remain with the visual carbon are being masked out. So when the race red is painted, these are the areas that are going to be basically left as carbon. So the majority of the bonnet is going to go red. This is incredibly important. If you don't do the masking correctly and you end up with the risk of overspray or paint getting in through the gaps, of course it is going to be forever noticeable. So a lot of measuring has had to be done to make sure all of the edges are smooth, are clear, are all perfectly refined, and ultimately we're going to give the impression and the final look that we want. So you can start to see how this is going to work, how each of those louvres are being left, how this area around the knacker duct is being done, and then around on the side panels how it's going to go with the fine masking around the edge and then all of that section will be masked out before they can be painted in red. While we are here also, I promised we would take a look at Schmark 150's M2 competition. Yes, I am too cool. Cringy number plate in my eyes, but anyway, let's take a look at the car. This had a bit of PPF installed, but it was not the best. It was lifting, it was untidy, it was not particularly the best finish. It is now getting a new PPF job, front end paint protection film. Like I told you guys, it's done 32,000 kilometers in about a year. I know that's not a lot for, let's say, a more regular daily driver, but for an M2 competition, which remember is already 
the more focused driver orientated version of the M2, which is already a BMW M car. That is quite a lot of miles to have actually done in it. It's in Hockenheim silver, the main color, I think, for the car. Look at the size of that rear arch. It sticks out an awful lot on the rear axle, but this car, the paintwork on it, is starting to look really, really nice. Hard necessarily to show on the camera, but compared to how it was before, this is a marked improvement. Still work being done. Not every panel has yet been completed. So you can see some holograms and things that will be ironed out uh, at the detailing stages. But this is looking really, really good already. And there's a bit more to go before it is perfect and the PPF can be installed. This is a very, very delicate process then. The masking up, going around the edge. That is exactly where the paint line is going to go. So obviously it wants to be identical from one part to the other. Hence, using the very narrow masking tape and refining it if required afterwards, all the way around to make sure that's perfect. And here we have our mixed paints, or at least being mixed now. You see the color starting to come through. This, of course, as I explained earlier, and that looks exactly like race red. It's a combination of the various different ingredients, we could say, ahead of being sprayed onto the panels. This is it, the first bit of spraying of red. And yes, I am intentionally staying outside of the booth because if I enter inside, there's a whole risk of contamination. You can see the various suits that need to be worn, but this is literally being painted in front of our very eyes, which is always kind of mesmerizing to see. It will have numerous layers. Big, big, big thanks to Bogdan who's working on it at the moment here. Of course, it is going completely red until the masked areas will get removed. But actually quite fun to see the, uh, the transformation ahead of the completion. Now, I will give you a little heads up at this moment in time that these parts are going to be left here to settle. Of course, paint takes a little bit of time. They need to be lacquered as well, which is a little bit after they're actually painted, obviously due to the process that's involved. So we're not gonna be having those back on the car today. It is actually already nine o'clock at night. So a big thanks to the team who are actually helping work on this. And I'm actually gonna be going to edit it and upload it straight away afterwards so that you guys have the most real-time content I can get this year. That's one of my objectives. Um, to be able to bring you but look at that as the bonnet is now being painted something many of you have been waiting a long long time for me to get done and we're now making progress on actually having that done here thanks to topaz skin and topaz detailing this is gonna look quite cool actually as we have the entirety of the bonnet and maybe i can cheekily pop around the corner just here to see even more of that oh no struggling from around there it is all going red though it's all going red in front of my eyes there we go. It's quite fun. Race red is actually the colour of the second year heritage edition of the Ford GT2. And available on the Focus ST amongst other models and then the limited edition, red edition, which is of course what we have on this particular car. I'm super intrigued to see what this is going to be like when the masking has been removed and we get to see it in detail. But for now, exciting times. Well, like I said, guys, that is pretty much where I'm going to be leaving you for today. I will, of course, pick up the car when all is completed. It will roll into tomorrow, but there will be a video very soon with all these parts installed. I think probably my 10th anniversary on YouTube, 18th of January, 10 years, 10 cars in the garage. You might have a bit of an idea about what that piece of content might be all about. Anyway, for today, a big thanks to Topaz, a big thanks to the guys who've been working on the car as always. The Project RS is taking even more shape with the transformation of the new carbon parts, thanks to Custom Carbon, now painted in race red with Topaz skin. That's it though for today. Thank you very much for watching as always, guys. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.